More than 140 pigeons have been found in the same dumpster at a rest stop in White County. And now, wildlife rehabbers are trying to figure out what to do with the pigeons. News 18's Anna Darling joins us now. She talked with the rehabber who has been fighting for the welfare of these birds. Anna? Kim Hoover has been helping animals for the past 40 years. She's currently running a non for profit called Hoots to Howls Wildlife Rehab that specializes in helping birds. But she says she's never seen anything quite like this. It's a crazy situation. A situation that wildlife rehabber Kim Hoover thought she would never see again. And I thought it was a rare act, never happened again. Once in a lifetime, as heart wrenching as it was, then it happens two months later, then you're like, Really? In December, 57 pigeons were found stuffed in boxes in a dumpster at the northbound rest stop just south of Wolcott. And on February 28th, it happened again. This time, 88 birds were found. And both times, Kim Hoover answered the early morning call to help. I answered that phone 24 hours a day. That's the life of me, of a wildlife rehabber. But these aren't the normal kinds of birds she deals with. These are parlor roller pigeons. They are bred for their ability to somersault on the ground. There are pigeon clubs who compete with these birds humanely, but Hoover believes these pigeons were part of an illegal gambling ring and were abused. There's a lot of money being made, and I'm told that this fellow could care less about getting fines because he knows he won't get in trouble. All the birds found were tagged with the name and phone number of a man from Dublin, Ohio, which is causing problems for who is responsible to help. The animal control of Dublin, Ohio, you know, which is where they come from. You know, they're like, well, they were dumped in Indiana. And Indiana's like, well, they came from Ohio. Other wildlife rescuers have stepped up to help, including one in Valparaiso. So what's next for the birds? They've got to get their health up and, um, and then hopefully adopt it out. To try to find people that, you know, understand the birds and, you know, you don't want them to go back into the same situation they came from. Only four of the pigeons found most recently had already passed away. News 18 attempted to call the phone number left with the birds. However, that line was disconnected. Anna Darling, News 18. Well, thank you, Anna. West Lafayette Streets and Sidewalk.